Hello everyone, uh, this is Russell Lowe speaking and this is a quick tutorial on how to uh, take a model from SketchUp into Lumion and uh, adjust its materials. So uh, I've got a, a two objects, two components in the SketchUp file here and uh, what I'll do is I'll quickly open them up and uh, whack a, uh, some placeholder colours uh, on different surfaces. Uh, let's say there and there and there and then uh, you can even uh, create some or use some more representational materials uh, and you know hit spacebar there you know you can adjust them by using the position and things like that uh, texture position uh, but we can adjust these things also inside uh, Lumion so I'll just select this whole thing and add uh, a different material to it and won't bother editing or anything. Uh, so you can think of these as the actual materials you'll end up using or you can think of them as placeholders. It's up to you uh, and change them later on in uh, Lumion. So I'll just go uh, save as version 3 save and then uh, open up Lumion. Uh, I'll select uh, the mountains and spring come across here and uh, you can see that there's several different menus that uh, you can adjust different aspects of the environment uh, materials we'll get back to in a second but let's start with objects uh, we can go imports and then uh, import a new model and then go down and find our SketchUp to Lumion version 3 and uh, it should be fine and here it is. So it's brought those uh, it's brought those materials across, uh, and whatever materials we have on there, we can start editing as well. So let's um, let's quickly just move this, uh, you know, maybe over over there, and then change the height of it up like that. Um, before I change the um, materials, I'll put some more um, uh, different items in there so go to transport select object and uh, cars let's chuck a, this funny little guy in here and uh, maybe a uh, uh, maybe a boat uh, this kind of robot seems like a reasonable option uh, chuck him under there and uh, other sorts of um, objects that you might like to put in include people to give it some scale. Uh, you might have seen me place this one before. If you um, people out for a walk, uh, fortunately she's lost her baby, but never mind. Uh, then. Let's try some uh, trees, actually, cancel that, and try uh, some trees. Let's go for uh, the default one we find, I think. Uh, so we can just click these and start chucking these in wherever we like. And you can see very quickly you can dress up a scene so that it um, uh, can look uh, pretty interesting. Um, much more so than if it was just sort of set in SketchUp uh, with lovely rendering and all that sort of stuff. Uh, now we've got something uh, to eat there. Maybe let's go and uh, check ourselves a cow in there. So, oh, and spin it around so she can have a little bit of a feed while she's up there. Uh, right, so materials. Let's go to the uh, materials section and uh, select a material so as you can see when I select a material it just highlights that particular material so let's go here I will replace that concrete with a uh, another concrete uh, let's just go for plain and you can see it's updated it um, these uh, uh, materials in Lumia are actually quite um, quite nice uh, let's change this one to uh, brick 
and with brick you can adjust a few things so if we double click and highlight it we can actually show extended settings so we can actually shift this thing around and rotate it and things like that like you would do in uh, SketchUp and we can change the, te the scale of it here and the relief to make it look like it's more or less sort of deep uh, with some other factors as well. Um, so click save and there we go. Um, like I say you could leave this red or you could uh, change it to a another uh, material. Let's go for tiles this time and uh, I've not looked at any of these before but let's see what this one does. Okay. Yeah, pretty nice when you close up looks a little bit trashy when you get to the edge there like that so um, uh, use these materials sort of carefully uh, save that uh, now the last thing I'll just show you quickly is landscaping where you can uh, move things up or down and you can see that the objects shift around with it as well we can move this down um, let's not get the tree in the water and you can change a range of different things like that in the landscapes. Last thing I'll quickly show you is the weather where you can adjust your um, shadows and things like that. This is the last thing in the build menu anyway because what we want to see as well is how to take a photo. So coming across to the right hand side here, click photo and then uh, store that particular view. Let's come down here and we can store this particular view, click on this open slot, install that view and you can go from one view to another view really easily. Uh, we can render these photos out, uh, render the current shot, there we go, desktop and uh, so uh, gives it a reasonable resolution, uh, test render uh, one, save that one, takes a second for it to render out. I say OK. Now let's try a panorama just quickly too. So with panoramas uh, you can look everywhere uh, around in full 360. So let's uh, make sure we're in a spot where looking around in 360 gives you something to see. And then uh, store the viewport in this open slot. Um, render 360 panorama. Let's go draft off and uh, generic VR device actually works well with the Oculus Go. Uh, start rendering, um, pano, render, uh, the one, save, and you can see it takes a few more seconds to render out, and uh, if we just go to my desktop and open up the Insta360 player, and we'll drag that one onto there like that, make it full screen, and, oh no, that's just a still, so where is the panel render here we go and open that full screen and now i can see i can look around everywhere and see my lady friend take her baby or non-existent baby for a walk uh, just get a little bit of um cow feeding up there um so there you go uh, that's sketchup to lumion adjusting uh textures and materials and um rendering out stills and that kind of thing and VR panoramas.